already completed my base, so to ensure my colors pop and have something to adhere to, I'm taking my acid rain brush and P. Louise base in Rumor 2 and buffing it onto my lid and blending the outer edges. Taking my Sandwich Stages palette with the shade Delicious, I'm packing that in and above my crease with a small rounded brush. Now I'm taking Indulge and blending that on the outer edge. With Algae and Turtle from the Ace View Oceanic Palette, I'm going to create a smooth transition and make sure she's well blended. The fluffier the brush, the better the blend as you move upward. Now I'm taking Lagoon and Eve to deepen my crease. Dipping into Real Dill, I'm diffusing the edges of my purple section. Taking Bite Me on a small fluffy brush, I'm packing that right into my inner corner. Now, I'm just deepening my crease, ensuring everything is transitioning into each other seamlessly. Dipping into the shade Snack, I'm going to blend that right above Bite and further deepen my crease and blend. Using P. Louise's trick, I'm taking Vaseline to carefully cut my crease and then clean it away with a Q-tip. Using my matte paints again, I'm taking Limelight and pressing it onto my lid and blending the edges with a fluffy brush. Now I'm taking Salty AF Crisp Finish Base and placing it right next to Nitro making sure to blend them before they fully dry. I'll do the same method with Ibiza and Ecstasy. These paints do dry down matte, but to make them pop a little more, I'm lightly setting them with Taste Me, Flava, and Real Dill with a fluffy brush. Taking Raver and Glow Girl, I'm going to create an ombre liner. To finish off my ombre liner, I'm going to use the extra spicy crisp finish paint and blend with a small brush. For my under eye, I'm using extra spicy, raver, and ecstasy.
now I'm just going to blow out my lash liner with Bite Me and move on to complexion. For lips, I'm using Melt Cosmetics Lip Liner in Latex and their Lipstick in Space Cake and topping it off with Recipe Shimmer Shadow. 